This is chapter four test from the textbook number 13. For this problem, you have to do a proof that involves proving two triangles congruent before you can prove the lines parallel. And we're gonna be using CPCTC. The first thing that you wanna do is if possible, use a different color and put in all of the given information and also any other additional information that you can prove from the given. So here we can prove that PR is congruent to itself by reflexive property. And since the SR is parallel to PQ, we can prove that RPS is congruent to QPR by the alternate interior angles theorem. And then, further after that, in a different color, after we prove the two triangles congruent, we can prove that SPR is congruent to PRQ by the converse, uh, or sorry, by the uh, CPCTC, and then finally prove that PS is parallel to QR by the converse of the alternate interior angles theorem. Let's start with our proofs. Making our two columns, statements and reasons, you can easily organize all of the parts of the proof. So what I'd suggest doing, write the given. Then, the reason for the given is given. Skip down almost to the end, um, quite a bit, leave yourself some room, and write what you have to prove. Since you were already able to figure out from your triangles here that this is going to be true by the converse of the alternate interior angles theorem, then you can write that reason. You're not always going to be able to write the reason of what you have to prove, but often the proofs that we're given, these simple basic proofs, after you fill in all of your information, you can tell by your drawing what you have to prove. The other suggestion that I have is to draw out any triangles that you need to prove that are congruent as part of the proof. So in this example, SPR needs to be proven to be congruent to QPR. And I'm going to follow the given, S congruent to Q, and the blue parts, because that was what I proved was true just from the given and what we had to prove. PR congruent to PR and PRS congruent to QPR. And so you can see here that these two triangles are going to be congruent by angle angle S. That's also going to be part of our proof. Make sure that that is included. Now we have all of our notes and so we're going to try to order it. Now, as far as ordering in, in your proof, you need to start with the given, then anything that is based off the given. So then we have that angle QPR is congruent to angle SP, SRP by the alternate interior angles theorem.
Then we're going to write anything that was given based solely on the drawing. That's the PR is congruent to PR by reflexive. Finally, for this part of the proof, we can say that triangle SRP is congruent to triangle QPR by the angle angle side theorem. That's our first half of the proof. Now we need to look back at the red part that we drew that I drew in because that is what is true based on the congruent triangles. So we have that SPR, angle SPR, is congruent to angle PRQ because corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. This is also known as the definition of congruent triangles or corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. You can write it one of these ways. Then we know that since these two alternate interior angles are congruent, then the lines that form, that help form those angles with the transversal are going to be parallel. And so what we have is our final step where we've already written down the step, what we have to prove, and the reason. It's okay if there's a little bit of space here because you don't know exactly how much information needs to be pulled in here. So let me just re recap. Write down the given what you have to prove, the drawing. Write down in the drawing, make sure that the given and then what you implied from the given is drawn on the original drawing. If you have to prove any triangles congruent as part of the, of the proof, separate out the triangles and write in all of the information that will help prove the two triangles congruent. Also, write down why the two triangles are congruent. Write down what you have to prove as well as the given in your statement reasons column, and if you can, write down the reason of what you have to prove if you can already figure that out from the drawing. If you need to, you might need to write down the given in pencil, what you can imply from the given in one color, and then what is going to get you to the proof in a third color, just to break down the parts of your proof.